Hi right, guys, hello, this is Dio Cornell. Welcome back to Space Engineers. So I've decided that for user convenience, it might be best if I do the destruction and the uh, construction all in one world. Now, as you can see, I've been kind of building a lot with, destroying a lot with one world anyways. So yeah, I'm going to be using this world for both segments of the Let's Play. I'll just transition over. Alright, so I'm going to show you a thing I've made called the Great Gr uh, I call it the Great Grinder. Also, by the way, <clears throat> you can now get the uh, Battle Station on Steam if you really want to. Just look for Z23 Beryllium Class Battle Station because that's what it's going to be called. So, let's see. I'm going to get a Drifting Pursuant to show you another thing. So, the Great Grinder, I use it for... I've used it for grinding stuff because I just basically just drop it into this pit and it's this massive grind pit here. So I guess a little bit of lag. So we get rid of these guns because they can cause trouble. And I'll just slap on a cockpit here just so I can turn off the engines. Forgot they have changed the buttons. Pretty recently, so uh, that's probably a bit too fast. But oh well. My great grinder. Oh, I never turned the thing on. Silly me. Oh well. Luckily. And yeah, as you can see, it grinds pretty fast. It can grind some bigger ships. It, it can grab bigger ships as well, it's just that those are more likely to go and punch a hole in the grinder. Which I do have certain circumstances set up so that if such a thing does happen that it can still get grinded up, but things still even miss through that. Because there's another layer of grinders beneath this in case anything slips through the cracks. Wow, something's going banging loudly. And one problem is the things that just make it out. Uh, yeah, so I'll be throwing a couple of things into this great grinder here. So you can see things get taken apart in pretty good fashion. Maybe I'll even blow up something. Like a uh, deterrent, for example. Or whatever it's called. Although I have like a grind speed set to high. Those pieces go far. So that it gets, it gets grinded, you know, during the course of the episode. So what that's doing, I'll go and get rid of some of this little scrap metal. Cause you know, it reduces that's gonna fall back down. Reduces gain like you know, FPS and stuff. It's kinda low enough as is, so I don't want it to go on into a random lag spike, which happens sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. So then we'll come back and you we won't be able to find any remains of uh, the drifting pursuit I left there. Some some episode I might go and attack the district headquarters I put up there. Oh, I'm gonna catch this piece. These things go high. So there's so many pieces that have been spread out, it's kind of annoying. To have to go in and uh, recover and get rid of all of them. Like, I really want to say that the Great Grinder is very efficient, but I have no idea. I just find it fun to throw stuff in there, and whenever I'm salvaging stuff like these older versions of battle stations over here, when I'm salvaging those parts, you know, it can be a little bit. Oh man, I wonder what's over there. Oh, that's probably some other ship or something. I don't, I don't know. Just go see what's over here real quick. Ah, uh, it's just bushes. The light is reflecting off of them really weird. Uh, anyways. It's taking me way too long to slow down. 
There we go. Okay, so. We're gonna go and crash something into this lake here. Just, cause, just for fun. And then I'll have to salvage the parts later, but you know, nobody cares about that. So we got this deterrent that's kind of modified with guns and stuff. Actually, we'll give it a target. So, let's see. I have a, this is energy shape here. Hey, I got some uh, things on Steam as well. So I was I, I should probably just bring one of these. I go bring this in. We're going to have this flying above. So load, okay. So, obviously, kind of be a ship. Yeah, I gotta talk to this person. Get him to shut up. Yeah, hopefully, I'll shut him up. Oh, it's gonna be lag. Yeah, something happens. I don't know why it happens, but. Just like lag spikes. I mean, it lasts for quite a while too, so I might just uh, <sighs> kind of wait for the lag. I'll, I'll try to set up something to get the lag spike to go away. So yeah, I'll just come back. All right, guys. So I think the lag might be gone for now. Never quite sure. So we got to turn here, and we're gonna go against the Radiant Seven. I'm going to shoot it down out of the sky using this deterrent, hopefully in a timely manner. And this thing has been outfitted with some uh, rocket launchers. So as you know, make the thing go a little bit faster. I just hope that thing doesn't, isn't like equipped with like, you know, heavy armor. Because that thing, those take forever to blow up. I need to work, I need to slow down. Otherwise, I'm going to go and crash into the ship, which is not what I want to do. But yeah, I'll just go and blow up this ship. I don't know how much of an effect I'm having. Oh, it looks like I'm doing a pretty good job of tearing off stuff, so that's pretty good. I wonder if I've separated this part off yet. I don't know, there's still quite a bit. I wonder if there's like blast doors. So they separated that component. I'll go and fly around. Alright, so let's go and aim for the other section. Yeah, it's just pretty convenient that the thrusters are kind of attached at a kind of separate spot. Oh, but that's already enough to take out the take out the ship, I guess. So I'll just go ahead and shoot this thing as it falls down. It's going to be pretty damaged by the impact, though. Up and there it lands, right in the ice. I'm gonna crash this thing. Right here. It's gonna be a pain to clean up, but you know. It's fun anyways, right? So yeah, I wanna destroy this ship. It seems pretty wrecked if you ask me, so yeah. Did I my oh. uh, please let this saving hurry up. All right. So yeah, that's, there's a lot of little wreckage here that I'm going to be cleaning up later. So I'd say that's pretty damaged. Pretty pretty well done. Kind of looks like it crashed into a snowbank or something. This ice looks more like water than 
normal ice, but hey, who am I to complain, right? So, uh, so that's it for the destruction part of this episode. So, you and if that's all you came here for, you can leave now. I'm fine with that. But if you if you're here for the construction part, well then it's gonna. Or if you're here to stay for the entire episode, the construction part is gonna start now. So I'm actually just gonna add on stuff to this base. As you can see, I got a lot of cleanup of other things, like these crashed battle stations. I already salvaged a good part of that, but you know it's kind of hard sometimes. Let's see, so what are we going to build? So we're going to... As I was going, I'll, I'll build part of this battle station here, because we're... So what I'm, it's a big thing I'm trying to build. Oh. Uh, it's going to be lag every single time I create a block. Nope, the lag's back. This is kind of getting a little bit annoying. I'm sorry for the inconvenience to you guys. But I'm pretty sure there'll be an update to fix that. Hopefully at some point. Unless it's a question that was caused by what I did over there. So I'm gonna have to cut it again. Alright, so sorry about that. I say like, right now it just got better. Wow, I did. Alright. So I'm not gonna go and cut out something. So as you can see, the thing, the battle station is pretty complex. Well, updating the world seems to be causing some lag. Quite a bit of lag. So we let space engineers solve its problems, hopefully for a moment. I don't know, that looks like it's not gonna... F looks like... Block updates are gonna cause problems, so... Maybe building isn't the best idea. Why is this gonna be laggy? All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut this part here, and we're gonna keep on going. Still, so yeah. All right, guys. So this is you're gonna. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> As I just been a little while, cause at uh. Something come in between, you know, construction to destruction, but parts of the episode. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna be doing the construction part in space. Because as I found out, things start to get quite laggy on planet, so we're just not gonna do that. So I went in and have equipped my mod I refined battle station with Space thruster, so I can fly the thing in space and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna build. Hope I don't crash. As you can see, you can obviously see what the battle station is based upon. So yeah. So let's get, let's get started building here. So I mean, it's a simple thing to start out with. It's just to build this ship, because well, I could learn to build ships. I really could. So let's gonna start out by. Well, I'm gonna finish the frame of this. So yeah, it's a good thing this uh, welder works fast, really fast. But yeah, I, I don't really know the first thing about shipbuilding. That's why one of my first ships was just you know taking the starting out base and then modifying it. So as you can tell, I obviously have. Plenty of work on learning how to build ships, but I'll just start out by taking this and building off from that, and then making other ships. 
Although I feel like sometimes the music in this game is a little bit like super dramatic when I'm like just like welding together things. So yeah, a bit overly dramatic music. But that's fine with me. So let's see, so I see these ships they require lots of welding to get done. I feel like it must real I wanna say it's a pain it must be a pain to play on survival. Especially on planet not on planets but in space. It's done, you have to go quite a long distance to like maybe find an asteroids that have the material you want and need to go and build ships. Well, on planets, all the resources are there, but I've heard that planets are difficult too, so... I'm sorry, but don't exactly expect me to go around playing survival anytime soon, if enough people want me to do it. Of course, I'll go and do it. But, until then, I'll just be glad doing my own little thing here in... Creative. You know, I wonder if there's like the pirate drones in space. I'm like, I have them enabled, but I don't know if that's really gonna happen or not. Maybe I'm gonna have to build a great grinder out here in space as well. It certainly is manageable. And all I have to do to really get things to go and fall in is just start slapping on uh, some artificial mass. That usually does. That probably would. And, you know, use a gravity generator. But yeah. Building a ship. I think I'm doing pretty good progress on loading all the parts together, but, you know, doesn't mean a whole lot. Because, you know, anybody can do that, especially in creative. And I'm going to have to do several extrapolations from what they have here. In order to make the ship, cause, and I had to do plenty of that with, uh... The refined battle station because, well, I didn't really know what, it, what the original base had entirely looked like. As you can see, I slept on. Where is my station? As you see, I slept on a hangar in back when the original hangar is right there, and I completely like missed that entire section where then just got these, these three parts. A point with my welder. Get these three parts. As opposed to, you know, the alternative. So, yes. Keep on... Just keep, just keep on loading the shit together. Now I always found this game to be pretty cool. No way, I promise I can't really like, appreciate this game true completely yet. But, because, you know, like I said, I'm not good at building ships, but hopefully that will change. And mainly be in the construction part of Let's Plays where I'll go and work on uh, improving my ship building skills, or I'll just build ships. Because that's cool and stuff. So it's kind of hard to build a base in space and to expand off of what's already there. You know what I mean? I hope they fixed the lag problems in uh, on planets, but I don't know. Is it is? There's just been a lot, I guess people have said that the reason why there's a lot of problems in in planets is it you know because of optimization problems. Hopefully, it's something that will be fixed before the game is released, so that you know we can enjoy. Well, the game the game is out. It's just not. In its final version yet, and hasn't been technically released. It's just still in its early. I, I think it's early design phases. I think it's still like in a beta or something. I'm not. Don't quote me on that. 
Maybe it says somewhere here. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so anyways. Back to building this ship. So, let's see. That should be about everything to weld. And now I'll start, let's see. This is a back, obviously, so. I'll start building. And hope I don't make a fool of myself. Hmm, alright, so slopes go right there, not whatever I put there. So sometimes I guess I kind of wish it was like a blueprint or something. If you know what I mean, like what, like you know the normal blueprint in the game is. But uh, I don't know. So can I, I, I think I can assume that this is also slope maybe, I don't know. You know, maybe I'll just make my own unique ship, and then we'll call that a day. This is gonna be my, as I like I said, I want to build a ship and have it be all my own. So make sure to make it something unique. Let's see, what did they, what did I have over here? I had blocks on the outside. Oh, I had blocks. I had blocks here. Uh, why are they red? Okay, I'll make those. I'll make. I'll color the whole ship later. And yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm also not very good at coloring parts of ships. That's pretty hard for me as well. Uh, I see. They, they connect. They connect. Either I did or they connected these parts, which that makes sense, right, guys? Tell me it makes sense. So I don't feel like stupid and stuff. But anyways, Let's see. Last, wow, so I'm gonna arrange this. There we go. That took that took a long time. Uh, this is going to be quite a build for me, because well, it'd be a pretty looks like well, it's going to have lots of extrapolation. Can't emphasize that enough. That was that was not good. Well, it actually, it looks like it was fine. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to go with the technical original design, yet stray from it as much as I possibly can. And it's gonna be a unique result. So, I guess that concludes this episode, so thanks for watching. Have a nice day. That's something you want to typically make models. Oh, and, uh. Well, here's part of the diplomacy machine. Ignore this part right here. I haven't put that in quite yet. But, uh, so it, it doesn't look the greatest, but.